Hi, it's uh, Dave from DaveJonesGuitar.co.uk again uh, with another lesson. This one time we're going to learn the uh, famous David Bowie song, Ziggy Stardust. So I um, hope you like David Bowie, and uh, if you don't know how it goes, you can always check it out on YouTube. Um, and the tab, chords, etc. for it are all up on my website, www.DaveJonesGuitar.co.uk. So, here we go. First of all, we're going to start with the G chord. I won't dwell too much on chords because all the chord shapes are on the web page, but this time we'll play the G chord, we're going to play it with four fingers because it makes some of the other chords in the song easier to play. So it's like your regular G if you've learned it with three fingers, but what we're going to do is we're going to put a little finger on the high E string at the third fret, and we're going to play our third finger on the B string at the third fret, and the other two fingers are on the top, like that. So there's your G chord. And it starts off with the G chord, two strums, and I'm killing that last strum by touching the chords with this, uh, touching the strings with this, this hand like this. So it's and then we're going to move to a D chord, and we're going to play the D chord, and then after we've played it once, we're going to add our little finger on the high E string at the third fret, and we're going to play the D chord, add your finger, off, on, off, B string at the third fret. And then we're going to move to a chord called C add 9, which is basically the G chord, what, G shape sort of thing, with your two fingers on the... Um, Still on the same strings as they were for the G chord, but it's down string now. Again, pictures on the website. But C at nine, then a chord called G over B, which is a B a G chord with a B note in the bass. And then we're going to put our fingers where we normally would for an A chord, but we're going to leave these two fingers on the um, B and E strings respectively, and you get a chord called A seven sus four. Don't worry about the fancy name yet. So it gives us a little bass line that goes. And then the last thing we're going to do is play the thick E string at the first fret, the note F. So our intro, putting it all together, goes. And again. Okay, so that's your intro, and if you're playing the song, uh, that repeats four times. And then we get into uh, the chorus section, sorry, the verse, the verse chorus actually, I think it starts with the chorus, so you can play guitar bit. And we're gonna, we've got a strumming pattern for this that's gonna go So, the chorus for this, we're gonna use a G chord, a B minor, which is a bar chord, again on the web page, a C chord, a D, and then another G, an E minor, A major or an A chord, and then a C. So the chorus section of this is the Ziggy Play guitar bit. So you've got G, C, D, G. Okay, so that's the chorus section, and then there's a, a sort of a verse section. It's the, um, uh, the spiders from Mars bit, um, and we're going to do that. This is this is done. Uh, the first part is done in power chords. Now, the power chords again. I won't dwell on them. You can get them off the website, but we're going to play an A five. Um, power chords are often called five chords because there's two notes in it, the root and the fifth. I'll go into that in some later lessons. But the A five is done by placing your first finger at the uh, fifth fret of the thick E string, and hopefully your third finger at the seventh fret of the A string. And you're just going to want to catch those two strings. And then we're going to move to a G5, which is everything back two frets. If you've got dots on your guitar, the marker dots, that's what they're there for, so your three and five should have a dot. But doesn't matter if they haven't, some guitars haven't. But we're going to be at the third fret with the uh, first finger, 
on the thick E string, and we're going to be at the uh, fifth fret with the third finger on the A string. And then the next chord we're going to move to is F5. Same thing, first fret on the E string, third fret on the A string. But this is a bit, uh, a little bit of a change here. As a, we're going to alternately remove our first finger from the thick E string. Basically, it's a it's called F5 over E, but don't worry about the name. And then we're going to come back to the G5 again. And that thing repeats three times, and you've got this rhythm, A5, G5, F5, with the finger coming on off that goes. And then just to take us back into our intro section again, it's the bit where he sings when the kids are killed a man, I had to break up the band, I think. Um, and we're on a D chord for that, so it goes. And then we're back into. Etc. And that just about takes care of the song. So um, good luck with that. Hope you like the song. Hope you uh, enjoy playing it. And uh, I'll see you again.